I'm Jen. I'm Eric. And we are full-time RVers, and we have been full-timing in our RV for the past year. For the last year in our RV, we actually traded a 2,200-square-foot house for a 240-ish square-foot RV. Um, we live in our grand design Imagine 2670MK. So, it's been a whole year. In the last year, we spent the first, like, seven months stationary. Yeah, about seven months. And then we hit the road. So we've been traveling full time. Um, we've been traveling full time nonstop for the last three months or so. Well, pretty much since March 1st. Has it been that long? Yeah. yeah. That's when we took off. You're right. Okay. So since March 1st. Um, and we thought this was the perfect time to just kind of get on YouTube, talk a little bit about what our year was like. But also we have some questions. We, we share a lot on Instagram. So we haven't been on YouTube, but we have been on Instagram. And we have made a lot of friends over there in the RV community. And I asked them to send me what questions they had about our first year. Um, questions that you may be interested in, in knowing too, and that may help others who might be thinking about RVing. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, so our friends have shared 10 questions that they would love us to answer. So are you ready? I'm ready. By the way, <clears throat> I've seen these questions, but you really have not seen these no, questions. No, I have not. So this will be a fun surprise. All right, question number one is, is it exhausting or overwhelming planning and booking all of our travel? I say no, because we plan so far ahead. That is true. And I really love to plan travel. Like, yeah. that's my favorite thing. I actually, um, like, sometimes people will say after a vacation, you kind of get, like, post-vacation, like, sadness or whatever, because your vacation's over. And, like, sometimes I get that before we even go on vacation because the planning is over. Like I've got everything planned and now all we have to do is go on vacation. And yeah. I'm kind of like, huh, I'm ready to plan the next vacation. So RVing kind of gives me the opportunity to like forever plan. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really. Okay. So question number two, how do you know what roads will be RV friendly? And I'm going to kick that one to you for sure. I always use uh, RV trip wizard first mm -hmm. just to kind of see what route that gives me. And then I run Google Maps along with that on Android Auto while we're on the road so we get real-time traffic. I remember somebody <laughs> saying, measure your RV, know how tall it is, and then they'd be like, okay, quick, one, two, three, how tall is your RV? Can you 12 feet. 12 feet, okay. <laughs> so as you're approaching a bridge, you need to know, like, in a split second, how tall is your RV. Yeah. So in that trip wizard thing, you can put your dimensions, yep. and it will make sure that you don't go under bridges that are too small for you. Yeah. All right, cool. It's worked out so far. So far, so good. Question number three. Would you opt for a larger or smaller RV, and are we happy with the RV that we chose? I'm very happy with this RV. Yeah, <clears throat> I me too. I think it's perfect. What, okay, so I think it's perfect too. We watched so many walkthrough videos. Um, Josh the RV nerd, like, we were tempted to drive to his dealership just to buy an RV from him because he had given us so much valuable information with all the videos that we walked through. Um, but yeah, for us, the selling point was we needed a desk or like a workspace and we wanted a larger bedroom than our first RV and a bigger kitchen. Bigger all around. But yeah. Question number four, what's your favorite spot? Morganton Point, Georgia. Yeah. We should keep that on the DL. So <laughs> if you're watching this, you're in our you're in our um, secret circle now. So Morganton Point is this adorable campsite in Georgia. It's on Lake Blue Ridge. There are a couple of sites within the campground. The campground's really small, but there's it's in a national forest. Also. Yeah, it is in a national forest. Um, there's a couple of sites that you are basically your site is right on the water, where you can like bring your kayaks and just have them in your spot and just walk right into the the crystal clear. Like, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's mine too. Easy question. Okay, question number five. You ready for this one? I'm ready. I can't wait to see what your answer is going to be. Things that you had that you didn't need and things that we didn't have that we ended up needing. And I'm going first. Yeah, you mm -hmm. go first. Well, first of all, I didn't really bring anything that we didn't need. I knew you were going to say so that. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. I know you brought some stuff you didn't need. Like what, Eric? I mean, I would probably say the 
your bike was the main thing. <laughs> I knew that you were going to say that. <laughs> the bike that never got ridden. The bike that never got ridden. So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Before we moved out, you had a bike. We both had bikes. And you sold yours. And I said, I want to bring mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was adamant about it. And every time, okay, we don't have a bike rack because we just didn't want to get one with just one bike being whatever our whole setup so every trip we would you would bring the bike into the rv and put it into the bedroom and like shimmy it all in there with towels and everything <laughs> and then we'd get somewhere and then you'd take the bike out and you'd set it outside and then it would just sit there yeah yeah so it took me until um like two weeks ago to sell the bike <laughs> <laughs> needed but we didn't have what do you think Ooh. That's a good one too. Why don't you go first? I say our water filter system. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. we need you needed that for sure. Yes. So we got a water softener and we also upgraded our filter system to the clear source filter system and that was a game changer for us. Yep. No more bottled water. Yeah. It's been great. Question number six. How is it traveling with our dogs? With the dogs? Yeah. It's the best part. <laughs> you get to bring them everywhere. We do. This is an interesting thing because so many people travel with their dogs and every dog is different. Some people can leave their dogs in their campers. Um, I think most people probably can leave their dogs in their camper, but we can't. Well, one we can't. One we can't. One we may be able to. I think she'd be fine. We have a 12 year old Yorkie who has like separation anxiety. And if we leave him in the camper, he will bark the entire time. So we just got accustomed to bringing him everywhere. And then we got a Husky puppy who is how old? Nine months. Nine months. It's like the apple of your, like your eyes like <laughs> just shimmer when you're talking about her. Um, well, she'll be nine months next week. Nine months next week. So the apple of Eric's eye, um, but she's a Husky. And I saw a meme, I'll, I'll try to overlay it here while we're talking about this, okay. of a husky that chewed through the door of an RV. Oh, yeah. Like, their whole head was outside of the door and their body was inside. Um, and so... And we saw that before we even picked her out. Before we even got a husky. <laughs> we saw that and we're like, let's get a husky. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we... I, yeah, so I'm going on such a tangent. We take our dogs everywhere with us. Mm -hmm. We take them to breweries. We take them, if we go grocery shopping, like one of us will stay in the truck and one of us will run inside. Um, so they're never in the rig alone unless we're just out and about in the site. <laughs> and I, I don't think we would change it. No. Question number eight. When was the moment that you thought we might kill each other? I love this. Let me say the, the person who submitted this is so freaking funny and I'll tag them on here. Okay. But I died laughing when I saw this. Okay. I've never had that moment yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a liar. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember ever having that moment. Okay. Okay. Why are you having that moment? <laughs> Daily? No, actually I haven't, but you're the easy one to live with and I'm not. And I acknowledge that. I think that probably the closest I've seen you to wanting to kill me is what, anytime I do like a project in the yeah, day. yeah, because it's a lot. Right. But I've learned that when you're done, that's so great that it doesn't really get to me anymore. <clears throat> and this is how we've been married for yeah. 21 years. I know that you, it takes you a while, but your vision is always great. So. Okay, I did not pay him to say this, and it's not written <laughs> anywhere. I just want people to know that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, I mean, we bought a brand new camper, and you wanted to redo the inside. I did. You didn't did. say that before we bought it. We agreed that we would not do the inside. But we know that the next time we buy one, we're going to get something used. So that so we can, you can do it again. Do what you want with it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not to say, like, I want to say we love our grand design. So we could have just left it. Yeah, I thought it was great. It was great. But just because, I think because we were stationary for so long, and I was doing nothing but just being in here and working, I slowly was like, well, how can I make this feel a little bit more like, like us? Yeah, I was awesome going to say me, but I'm, I'm at us, yes. Question number nine is something that surprised you about full-time RV life. 
something that surprised me for our full-time RV life yes. was getting a husky puppy and walking around all the campgrounds with her. Especially yeah. when she was eight weeks old, because you could not walk by any site without <laughs> people getting up and walking to the road just so they can meet her. Yeah. Just talk to her and tell her how great she is. Yeah. So it still goes on now at nine months old. So I get to know almost everybody in the campground. Or she gets, Aska gets to Yeah, Aska does, and you do through her. <clears throat> well, I think she can join us for a moment. She can join us for a minute. Um, I kind of love that, though, that we were able to do that because it actually made her a little bit more well-rounded. Oh, like, sure. She's so easy to, like, go up to people um, and get to, to say hello to them. So See, you're I, on think TV. That was, <laughs> I think that was super cool that she got to do that. For me, what surprised me the most about full-time RV life was just, like, how easy it was to, become, like, change our whole lives. It was It's so weird to, like, think back and know... We made the decision to do it, gosh, like, I feel like it was maybe in March of that year that we are like, yeah, let's do this, and by the 3rd of July, we were moved out. I mean, mm-hmm. we had been kind of kicking it around longer than that. We got our rig in November of 2020, or uh, November of 2019. Right. Yeah. Yes. And then moved out in July 2020. Yep. But, okay, question number 10. Husky hair. The husky hair. All right, question number 10. One thing that you learned this past year. This is deep. Yeah, this would be a good one for you. Are you, are you saying that I needed to learn yeah. things last year? I want to hear this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I know one for you is you don't need all that stuff that you used to have. I mean, I already lived pretty much as a minimalist. If I bought something new, I got rid of something. Yeah. Okay. And if I replace, I'd be, I'd replace things. I wouldn't get things in addition to others. So mm-hmm. that's kind of how I already lived. I had a box of things. You did. Everything else in the house was your stuff. So. Yeah. I know it's ours, but stuff that you wanted to have. Right. Looking back, you have that one tote. And we would joke all the time, like, well, if you just wanted to go, you just get that one toe and you're out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so that RVing is great for me because I don't need any of that stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess I would agree. You realize you didn't need all that stuff. Yeah. You got storage unit and stuff right now that you We do have don't storage need any unit of stuff. Yeah. Okay. About you know, 18 Christmas totes. All right. All right. Enough. <laughs> Okay, so that was 10 <laughs> questions. There is one bonus question. You ready? I feel like we need like a drum roll. Okay. Wait, you're the drummer. There you go. <laughs> Did you hear my drummer? Yeah. Okay. Will we continue? Oh, okay. Bonus question. All right. Yeah. I mean, I want to continue. You do? Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we want to continue. We know that we want to full-time for at least the next couple of years. And then beyond that, we're not sure what we want to do. Like, well, we want to travel for the next two years and then yes. decide if we're going to be stationed. do extended stays. Yeah. Who knows? So we'll see. Yeah. Um, we actually, so we just hit our first year anniversary. Next week, we're going to do like a whole like kind of vision mapping session of just like brainstorming. Like, where do we see ourselves yeah. in the next couple of years and like how does travel work into it and then plan from there but yes we're definitely continuing all right so that's our 10 questions to summarize our first year as full-time our viewers we did good right babe yeah i think we did awesome high five awesome so if you would like to stick around with our journey um i would say come follow us on instagram i'm always over there uh sharing in our stories all the time we're going to try to make more of these videos so you know stay tuned here make sure you hit subscribe and if you're watching this video between 7 7 and 7 12 i think make sure you come to instagram and enter our giveaway because we're giving away like 1400 dollars worth of everything you need for your next rv camping trip thanks so much for being here yeah, thank you i can't let you go baby